Hey, 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 what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to all my cloud scholars out there. Here we are continuing our Terraform series. We're going to continue with this project. Um, what we want to work on getting to is creating virtual desktops and uh, doing some storage accounts and really some real fun stuff, but we have to get through the setup process. So in the last video, we installed uh, Terraform. We installed Visual Studio Code. So that is exactly where we're at right now. What we want to do in this video is I want to show you how you go about uh, setting up your uh, Visual Studio Code uh, environment. So what we need to do today is we need to define a provider and then we also need to do some app registration for our Terraform to make it work. So right now it may not make sense, but I'm going to walk you through it. So this way you understand exactly what I mean. So what I want to do is I want to come over here and I want to go back into our um, browser over here. And what I want to do is I'm going to do Terraform provider, provider registry. And once you get here, you just click on this Terraform registry. And what we want to do is we want to type in, we want to go to browse providers. So there are different providers and what those providers do are the ones who the code that you'll be using within your um, environment in your um, Visual Studio. So we have AWS, we have Azure, we have GCP, you have some Kubernetes. We have a lot of different options that we have here. For this video, what we will be focusing on is the Azure provider. Uh, this is something that you need to have within your code. So right here, when you click on the Azure provider, you click this down out right here and it says how to use this provider. So it provides you um, some uh, the code that you need to copy and paste into your um, Terraform. Now, one thing I want to point out here um, within this uh, this window and let me just zoom in a little bit more is that over here, what you'll see in the provider, if you to notice, it says version 3.8. 3.85.0 so 3.85.0 excuse me if yours is saying 3.90 or 4. Point something do not get worried about that because by the time i've created this video uh to tell you the truth this gets updated very frequently they are moving at the speed of light over there at HashiCorp. so it doesn't matter about the version that you have here it is perfectly fine um, I think when I first started learning Terraform, I think this was at two point something or something like that, um, if I could recall. So don't get too worried about seeing that your version is a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here. Let me cancel out of this. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste that in this main.tf. Okay, so um, you see we're getting some um, errors right now because it's waiting for some more information. I'm just going to click save. If you notice this right here is a circle whenever you write something. So if I were to put something in here, it's a circle right now. So it's letting you know it hasn't been saved. I'm just going to take that out because we don't need that. You don't need to change anything in this within this bracket. So what do we have here? We have Terraform required providers and it says Azure RM. So it's going to be Azure um, and then source HashiCorp um, Azure RM and then the version. Now over here, Terraform is getting us a message because it's like, hey, I need some information here that you need to provide to me. So some of the information that needs to go here is subscription ID. We're going to also need a tenant ID. We're going to need a client ID as well, right? And then we're also going to need a client secret as well. So let's jump back up here to the subscription ID. So we need to go into our Azure portal into order for us to get this information. So over at the Azure portal, um, I'm going to go and grab my subscription ID. So I'm back at the Azure portal. I'm just going to copy that over. And now I have my subscription ID. But in order for me to get a tenant ID and a client ID, I need to do the app registration. So this is what I was referring to in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to Microsoft Entra. Within the Microsoft Entra, what I'm going to do is I need to go here to app registration. And then within app registration, I'm going to go to new registration and I'm just going to call it Terraform. And everything else, I'll keep it the way it is. Accounts in this organization directly, yada, 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 perfectly fine. And I'm going to go and register. So 
for um, the next step right here, we have our Terraform app registration. So we need to grab the information that we need for this. So for tenant ID, this one right here, you see it says directory and it says tenant ID. So this is exactly what it's referring to. And there it goes, our tenant ID. Now for the client ID, this application ID, see it says client ID, that is what it's referring to. And you're gonna paste yours in. So, you know, I should have said this in the beginning of the video, uh, as you're following along with this, you know, I expect that you have a, a, a valid Azure tenant uh, with, that, you're, that you can utilize. Uh, you might be using something for work. Uh, you can use this as well, or hopefully using something for school that they're giving you access to. But you can get your own free Azure um, uh, tenant uh, for yourself so that you can utilize. And I believe that Microsoft gives you $200 free credit uh, when you first sign up for using their Azure um, uh, environment. So you can use that as well. And what we're gonna be doing a lot is we're gonna be building a lot of different resources, but we're gonna be destroying them as well just to make sure that we save on cost. Now this last portion where it comes to client secret, we need to create a secret in order for us to be able to use and access Terraform. Because what we're doing here is we're using Microsoft Entrer and we're saying, okay, we're gonna have an application, which is this app registration, which we use, which is Terraform. And that application is what we'll be using in order for us to be able to build um, resources within the cloud. So with Terraform, you're not, you're not necessarily signing into the Azure portal like you would um, to create resources and do some type of delegation. What you're doing now is allowing your developers to now use the subscription, tenant ID, client ID, and the secret which you need to provide to them in order for them to be able to say, okay, we're gonna write the code within this uh, Visual Studio code, and then this way it gets deployed to the Azure environment. So if you do not have the secret, you will not be able to uh, move forward. So I'm gonna show you how you go about creating a secret for this specific application, which is our Terraform. So over here, back over the Azure portal, you're gonna click on uh, certificate and secrets. And what we need is a new secret. So new client secret, and what we'll call it is our secret, um, which is fine. Um, and then when they have the expiration, you can do 180 days, which is something that they recommend. You could do a custom, you could do three months. Um, I, you know, I, I'm gonna do something that's really custom because I'm making this video and I don't want anybody else using my stuff. So uh, this will make sure that, you know, by the time I roll this video out, um, I this secret would already be banished within my environment. And if anybody tries to use it, it's just not gonna work. So I'm just kind of doing a safeguard for myself. So I'm gonna keep it there for a certain amount of days. When you get the value here, you need to make sure you keep it and you do it in your, um, uh, your environment because this value is gonna change. So once this screen changes, you're not gonna see this anymore. So there goes my secret here. And then that is pretty much it. We have set up our Terraform code so that this way that we can utilize it. I'm just gonna do a file and save. And the reason why it's still giving me this message is because I forgot to add that features there as well. So now our Terraform looks good and I'm just gonna do another file and save. And then we should be all set. Okay, so one of the next things that we wanna go about doing is because now we were able to create uh, our main.tf, we have our Terraform required providers, we have our providers, and we have our subscription, tenant ID, client ID, and client secret in here as well. But there is more stuff that needs to be completed. So back over here at the Azure portal, if I come off this screen and I come back to client secrets, let me see if I do branding and I just come to client secrets. If I come back over here to Terraform and if I go back to Certificate and Secrets, if you notice when I got back over here, you see right here, this value is no longer valid. So that just lets you know like, hey, you know, um, if you didn't copy it, uh, you can't get it back again unless you didn't put it on the clipboard or somewhere like that. 
you have the secret ID, which is still here, but you don't have the value, which is what you needed in order for you to get that completed uh, within your environment. So uh, when we were first setting that up, so, but if you do run into an issue, you can always just click on new client secret and create a new client secret and then put that in your Terraform. What we're gonna do next is we, we aren't done. We still need to give access to our Terraform application because this application is in our environment, but it really doesn't have any rights at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna go to subscription. I'm gonna click on Cloud Scholars and I'm gonna go to IM. Once you get to IM, what we wanna do is add a new role. So add a role assignment for this subscription. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look for contributor There we are, we got contributed there. Sorry about that, a brain fart just now. So we have these privileged ad administrative roles. Um, I should have known that because I created a video about that already. And I'm looking at job functions. So we want the contributor role we have here. And then what we're gonna do is go to next right here. Um, and remember, we're gonna look for that um, uh, specific group. So let's say we're gonna select members. And we're gonna type in Terra. Form and you see Terraform pops up there. Once you have Terraform there, and this is one of the reasons why you need to do the app registration because you need to give the app some rights. So once you have Terraform there, we're gonna click on next. And then what we have is this review and assign. So you say, uh, can a job function role with less access be uh, used instead? So it's just letting me know like, hey, you're giving them high rights, which is the contributor role. And it's just letting me know, hey, are you can you do something different like least privilege? But you know, this is a lab environment. We're perfectly fine with what we're giving out. So we'll just do a review and assign, and then that's pretty much it. Okay, so now that that is completed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put a wrap to this video. Um, in the next video, we're gonna do uh, walk you through creating resource groups, and then also uh, walk you through uh, creating our environment. So we're gonna do some virtual network within our Terraform application. So that this way you can kind of see the power of how to use Terraform. So throughout this uh, series, what I'll be doing is I'll you know jump to the Azure portal. I'll show you how to create within the Azure portal, and then I'll show you how to create within Terraform, just so you can see the uh, speed of utilizing Terraform instead of having to go through the portal and you're clicking all over the place. And with Terraform, you're able to just build a ton of resources just through code. So um, I hope uh, that you were able to follow along this video. Um, I hope that everything um, that you just saw was beneficial to you. Once again, my name is Kieran Tross, and I want to thank you for uh, clicking and watching this video. Um, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, once again, um, uh, over here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant, and of course, consultant to expert. Thank you, and see you next time.